for the game is Melissa has the go away, so it is going to be difficult for Kyrie if her timing on that go away is perfect. But I think we should just jump into the land of dawn. It's time, ladies and gentlemen. Will GeekFam be able to prolong their miracle run? Perhaps even doing it in the end, or will Onik try to stop that from happening? We're jumping into the land of dawn. And just like Beloisky is saying right now with the emo, Santa bro, just chill. Just chill. It's game two. It is only game two, technically, so it's a showdown between the Ling and the Fanny. But in the same facet, it's also the showdown between the Franco as well as the Lolita. I think if if Samo is able to actually use this Franco to maximum potential, it's going to be very difficult for GeekFam to try and get any kind of bearing, any kind of foothold in this game right now. But of course, Samo isn't usually the player that's given these very aggressive heroes. Here though, we are already going to see a little bit of an invade from Janna Key's team. Kyrie jumping in Ooh. though. Janna is the one who picks it up in the end and Kyrie will just go to the orange buff. Both teams again, not really wanting to commit into an invade this early on. Hmm, interesting, right? On eSports, they do have the capacity to go for pickoffs, but we can say the same about Geekfam. Beloisky on the Lolita is going to be receiving a little bit of damage. As you can see, that he is trying to rotate to pressure the lane, but so far, Kyrie has been able to maneuver around the map rather easily, not being hindered by the members of Geekfam. Onik trying to be aggressive here, but Baloisky is just a big problem. And you can see in the bottom side, though, Gian trying to find something extra. Whoa. But to take a look at the talent prediction by X. Hey, <laughs> what a weird combination here. For both desks, it's just the analyst with a, with a different opinion. Oh, right. I think it's time to swap. Arashi, go to the Indo desk. On Wawa to the English desk, right? Because right now, <laughs> we're not in sync, man. This is not the synergy I expected, man. Um, why, did we, why did we go for Ana Esports, though? Hey, Turner, why did you go for... Hey, you're still at 100% loss, actually. Come from, on, it's from only yesterday. been one game today. <laughs> and on my stream, I promised to get 100%. I haven't been able to pull through, no. but we'll see for game number two, okay? And in this particular game, I really didn't like the matchup for that gold lane. And I think Kadera has been one of the main pillars to geek fam success so if cw is going to be able to utilize this pick on the one one against kadera who is on the melissa i think it's going to be a little bit more hard for geek fam here in this second game but you can see already very quick setup for geek in that top side yeah they're trading it already right now they know that on esports are going to go for the dive down below look at that go away popped in and oh my goodness oh. gracious crossbow attack as well beloy picks up first what? blood up on Kyrie, Drian jumps up with an Ash Chain, but look at Chidera, still surviving. Not for long though, CW finally getting the kill, but look who's come to play. Jana comes in, Jana is there, he picks up one, he goes oh, into the cable. Oh, oh, oh. Jana picking up a double, going for the triple, Drian with the Enhanced Sword. He gets out, oh. Lil Zura with a dive onto Drian, one so more low. HP. Look at Jana, oh, a few more cables is all you need, Jana. Discipline route, doesn't want to go for it. 3-1, to 1,000 gold lead. Not looking good for our predictions right now, Eterna. <laughs> but Arashi, uh -huh. time okay. to dive deep on to the emblems because Janna is on the high and dry. Janna is on the high and dry and Kyrie is on the killing spree. So already a different priority, right? Geek fam, they want to make sure that Janna can go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, go very aggressively. Already with the half the seas at 3 minutes and 30 seconds here. If, if Kai wants to go toe-to-toe -to -toe, 1v1, I think he will have an advantage. And overall, the reason why I went for Geek Fam here is I think that on a surface level, logically speaking, they have solutions for most of the problems that on the esports can, uh, can pose to them. And just like that, that aggression in the mid lane, uh, Lolita, uh, the Fanny as well as the Valentina, right? It allows them to be so oppressive and they can translate that to the side lanes as well. So much kill pressure for Geek Fam right now, as now they are still sitting at a 1,000 gold lead. Drian looking for any sort of compensation, trying to drive Beloisky away, allowing Kyrie to farm. But as it stands, Ana Esports seem to be falling back in terms of that tempo. Janna is one level ahead of Kyrie at the moment. You gotta remember that Samo is also, like we said, not usually the main aggressive uh, roamer we've come to expect from the side of Onyx Esports. So when he's on the back foot, it's gonna be very difficult, but Malloy is jumped on. Yeah, that's gonna be everything oh. often used, but Samo is gonna fall as well. Jana onto the back lines right now. CW looks for more weakness points. Roamers traded on the board for both Geek Fam and Onyx. The Geek Fam have got more control in the mid lane. They will be able to translate it over to that bottom side. And Chidera is actually going to be in a 1v1 against Kyrie, dishing out the damage onto Kyrie. 
But all Kyrie wants to do right now is give me waves, right? Clear it out so that the turret won't be threatened there. The Geek fam, knowing that Kyrie's down below, we'll just go for an easy take onto the turtle. Oof. Very good for them so far, man. Knowing that they have a little advantage, Fanny has a lot more early game potential compared to the Ling in the hands of Kyrie. They're trying to push that as much as possible. And just like the Janna, all over the map with these cables, man. He's pretty good. Oh, pretty good is an understatement. That is really good. He can wipe your team out just like Head and Shoulders can wipe your dandruff away from your hair. So go ahead and take it. Ladies and gentlemen, check out the limited edition Head and Shoulders right now in the mini markets and in the e-commerce websites. Oh man, this isn't really looking too good for Onyx Esports right now. CW below one level against Kadera. So even losing that matchup because of the kill pressure that GeekFam had, because of the mobility from Ajana QT in particular, they're still going to be able to win that lane and even take that tower. GeekFam looking for another pickup oh on the board. God. What a read by Beloy! My goodness! CW looking for the weakness points, not able to day and get it! Kadera in the midst of it all, Boot jumps in, Kadera taken down and look at the crossbow tank, onto one, onto two, Janna running away, a double kill picked up for CW, it ends up with a two for two, gold lane, mid lane taken down for Kyrie and Dreon, who walks out, I guess Geekfam walk out with a better trade! Well, he can walk up with a better trade, but at the same time, they were the aggressors there, and Onik was reacting, so it's not the best result, considering how the fight began. But of course, what a read, man. What was that? I guess they caught glimpses of the members of Onik Esports shuffling into that bush, but that is a bold play from Geek Fam, and this is what you want to see, right? Confident playmaking from the side of Geek Fam. Oh, and now we're going to see... What yeah. happens here? 1,800 gold lead. Uh, for the moment, 8 seconds left on the clock. Oh, the what? Heck? No way. Kyrie though, still surviving somehow. Both of them just chasing each other down. Oh! oh, oh. With a flicker. Oh. Tells Kyrie to sit down and now he's caught. He's not going to be able to run away right now. He just takes it, right? But Geekfam are able actually to convert on an eSports tunnel vision into that top side. And Shadera now has to go away. Doesn't pop it just yet. He doesn't have it actually. It's CW picking it up. Four and one on this 1-1, one, one, a very dangerous 1-1 one, one in this game. And our esports will be able to somewhat equalize right now. 1,000 gold lead or only being held by Geek Fam. Slight misplay by Geek Fam because if they just committed straight onto the turtle, I feel like they could have gotten it. They could have taken it away from Onyx Esports, but now it is going to be Onyx Esports finally getting one turtle in the game. But look at how the waves are crashing in that top side. Ooh. I think later on in the mid game, it's going to be very difficult for Onyx Esports to deal with Janna's Fanny, right? He's so strong right now, 4 and 0. And the solution on the side of Onyx Esports, the other member with gold is actually uh, CW. And he's going to try and get a kill here. That's Kyrie getting a kill. Yeah, and it's the crossbow tank translated over to El Zuro. He's now very low. Janna's here too. A very nice try on the hooks. And standing has Jane coming oh. in. Kyrie jumps in, but oh my goodness, that damage is absolutely unreal from Janna. He might be able to look for some more, but Kyrie just jumps out with the finch poise. On the esports, are able to equalize. They can equalize right now, but the fights are so sporadic here. Luke goes for an unoffended, but. There will be no pickoff here as the Iron Hook is launched here. For Onyx Esports, man, if they don't engage a fight using the Iron Hook, they're already at a direct disadvantage. So I think they need to try and get a bit more control, maybe prepare some traps for Geek Fam because Geek Fam really isn't letting up. Oh they my keep god. Going for aggressive plays. I, I don't know. Did you mention this, Arashi? I, I, was, I did not expect this because usually, one one, you just go for Inspire almost every time. He went for Flicker. So that's a. I just realized it now. That's pretty crazy. I just auto piloted, right? You when you pick 1 1, you go for Inspire. Why did he go for Flicker? I think, especially with Baloyski on the Lolita, being able to reposition a bit, a bit better against a team that knows how to play against a 1 1 as well will be very beneficial. But Luke here, jumped on by four people, Flicker's out. Wow. And he's out. Yeah, he doesn't get taken down. You can see that on esports. Kind of wasted rotations there as Geek Fam has been trying to push that top and that middle side turret. And you can see that the mid turret is going to fall. And once that falls, Geek Fam, they're going to have a bit more pressure when it comes down to those rotations, especially when they want to go for those neutral objectives like the Lord that has already spawned. On an esports already pushing that bottom side. So they are going to have a little bit more time to set up. And we'll see what happens.
on the esports consolidating on that bush, going for that hook. But Geek Fam, they understand the assignment. They don't stand in those common locations. They will be able to avoid the first iron hook, but it's only one. There's going to be a lot more to come as Samo is to take taking control. And Janna does a lot of damage. Kyrie's on the hunt for him, though. Oh, man. Yeah, Janna is the one forced to actually split push here because he's the only one who can technically match the maneuverability of this Paquito in that side lane. Beloy. Beloy, though, goes for the stun onto Dreon right now. There is there as well. Enhanced Sword popped into Beloy. Oh. Whoa! Wow. He commits onto that engage, which is going to be two massive resources spent for nothing. They aren't able to get anything here. And this is Onyx little time gap to play around. You know, they can actually go for something on the map here without the Numenon Blast and hand for Beloy. But so far, it doesn't seem like they want to set up for the Lord just yet. We can see that Boots already pushing that top side, looking for the split push, but he has to be careful in a 1v1 situation against Janna. Oh my god! Oh, but no, actually! Soloed 1v1, Boots shuts down Janna QT! 4 and 1 versus 0 and 0. Holy moly! That just shows again how lethal Boots is on the Paquito and on Esports. They know what to do. Instantly going on to the Lord with a one-man advantage. No jungler for the side of Geek Fam. I don't think they can go for the contest right now as Boots goes crazy again, finding another kill. Now it's CW who is able to pop the crossbow with Tang. But unfortunately, without the Inspire, he isn't really going to be able to burst anyone down. They take the Lord for free. Samo gets a hook, flickers back to the team for Dreon and Kyrie to pick up the kill. It's a disaster for Geek Fam. Two members from the side of Geek Fam are going to be taken down and on East they're going to solidify that economy by 5,000. And with this economy, what do we see with the items, Arashi? Well, we can see that Janna goes for heavy burst damage. He went for the Hepsis and the Hunter Strike, and then straight for the Malefic Borer. So, a lot of burst damage. We see that one or two cables with the Cutthroat is able to almost one-shot Kyrie, but his DPL set, but if he doesn't get the one-shot, it's going to be a lot lower. And I think that's exactly what allows Boots to get the upper hand in that fight. Now they're both up, though, and Janna wants to tempt fate again. <laughs> No, no way, man. No way he wants to go for that again on eSports. Without the Lord, they're able to take every single tier two. 6,600 gold lead. And when I think about it, right, Elzura has found a lot of success on the Lilia. But when he's given someone like the Valentina, sometimes he doesn't perform as well, especially with on eSports using and being able to just draft around it, right? What, Which ultimate can he take that's going to be fruitful for Geek Fams in particular? He's only been taking the bloody hunt, right? I think the entire game, he's only taken the bloody hunt. I haven't really seen him on another ultimate because technically there's no other good ultimate to take that can really change the game. Exactly. Geek Fam, though, are looking for a play up top. They're going to go for the conceal. Oh, they get spotted, though. It's just unfortunate there. Conceal um, wasn't really timed properly, I guess, with uh, the move maneuvers, the movement up into that bush. Oh, but they're still going they're, for it, they're though. They're committing. What are they doing, Arashi? I think they're trying to catch who is going to try and stop the push here. Because if one guy gets sent up here, they have a chance to just give him right there. But I think on the esports, they're a bit too wise for that. They go for the push in the other lanes. They don't have to respond to the aggression from the side of the fam. And oh, right now, it seems like they will be able to get a turret with that play. Wow. Oh, it's yeah. so risky, though. It's very risky, but it's what Geek Fam can take. And right now, they're, they're still there. They're actually good at oh, no way. right now. Elzura going to jump to the bloody heart. Oh my goodness! They've done it! They found a pick it again! It's going to be Numenau Blast by Beloy, forcing the Flicker out on Esports, trying to go for that trade. Geek Fam, will they commit again onto that top side? Drian spots them out. Look at the flanks. Kyrie is maneuvering already with the Finch Boy. He's looking for that flank. Drian pops in. That sprint. Elzura is giving target. Shadera pops in to go away, but look at the time of the play. He's popped in again. Winner Truncheon going to be popped by Elzura, but look at Boots. Comes in, able to dish out the damage. Picking up a killing spree. Jana goes wild onto Drian. Goes wild onto Samo. No mana, oh no energy, God. but it does not matter. Geek Fam, what a read. What a play. Coming back in the game, turning the tides, and guess what's up right on time? The Lord enhanced 14 minutes in the game. Beautiful, beautiful conversion by Geek Fam. Wow. Very high risk, high reward. They managed to pull it off. Four members were taken down, and only Kyrie was left standing. Geek Fam, they're going to be able to secure this Lord, but. Look at Kyrie. He might want to go for the steal. Oh, Janna doesn't want to go for a 50-50. 
This is risky. We all know how lethal Kyrie is right now. Thunder Blaze comes in and look, it's Jada again. He goes in for the Numina Blast. Kyrie taken out. Jadera dealing the damage on the CW who has the win of nature. Flickers out. Samo comes in as well. Dreon able to pop the enhanced chain. Samo taken low. Geek Fam have taken the team fight. They get a one for one. Both junglers and they get the enhanced Lord. Wow. Kyrie tried his best right there. I think he had a level advantage. I wasn't uh, so many things going on. I didn't catch. I didn't quite catch the level difference, but it was so so close. At one point, the Lord was just one hit away, and Janna comes out on top right here. And with that enhanced Lord Geek Fam, they can force for a fight. If they go for a front to back, they have an advantage. They have the lead to counter the DPS coming in from CW. So if they can make sure the Kadera doesn't get one shot, this is already a winning fight, a winning situation for the side of Geek Fam. Is this going to be a 2-0 to zero for Geek Fam? Oh my god. That's gonna be the question. Geek Fam, they're looking for, for another play. play. Another one. Dreon getting out. No one out blast! Forcing the winner Junction right now as Dreon is able to evade for now. CW can't really cut away that well because Beloisky has the shield up. Now Samo is giving the target. He is going to be there. Kyrie jumps in, clearing out the Lord right there. Both coming in onto Lucas. Eldura looks for the bloody hump, but CW is going to massive. Winter Truncheon popped in. That's going to be Boots jumping with a knockout strike. Chadera with Winter Nature will not be able to oh. evade for the damage coming in from the Julian. Beloisky has no more immortality. He's going to be taken down. Janna all alone. Onik once again get the grasp onto the game. Still a staying relevant for Onik Esports, but now Janna Cutie goes in onto oh. five members. Uh oh, boots. That able might be a mistake. One straight push. It's a wipeout by head and shoulders. Bionic Esports. 15 seconds, 10 seconds on loop. CW gonna go for the clear, and it is over. Onic Esports will be able to equalize in game number two. Geek Fam with one mistake in the end. One to one. Onic Geek. Back to a best of one for Onic Esports as well as Geek Fam. As my oh my, that was actually Geek Fam's game to win. Why did they overcommit into that team fight? They gave Onik the right opportunity to capitalize, to take advantage of, and only took them one straight push after that wiped out. They're able to get a huge advantage with that mind game play, doing what no other team, I think, dares to even attempt. Outsmart Onik Esports in that chess match. But unfortunately, maybe that pressure is what got to them. Wanting to make the game end faster. Wanting to get out of this tense situation. They go for that fight, and in theory, if they're able to do it, but on the esports, they come out on top. And even Janna Cutie, trying his best to try and stall the game even longer. Boots was able to find the knockup and seal his fate. On the esports, with, this, with the save, essentially, making it back to a 1-2-1. And now it's a best of one between both these teams, man. It was a beautiful game by Geek Fam, though, right? All throughout the game, they were able to really set the tempo, and you can even see